I've been working on something for a very long time, years now, and it's um, a project uh, based on an old textbook written by Webster Wells. And right now, the project is in this folder here. That's where it lives. And just to give you an idea, you know, information on it, it's 1.28 gigabytes of files there, and there's over 1,000 files in that folder. And what I want to do is I want to back it up, because, you know, what happens if my hard drive dies and I need to get those files back? I'm going to go to the terminal, I'm going to use rsync. There's going to be a short tutorial on using rsync to keep this folder, or any folder for that matter, in sync with an external hard drive. So type in rsync, that's R-S-Y-N-C, space, dash, lowercase a, lowercase h, uppercase p. Then I'm going to drag the source. This is the source right here. And now on my external drive, I have an external drive here. Um, external drive is called YouTube because I, I store a lot of YouTube file, files on that. And what I'm going to do is this is the destination. It's a folder. I want to copy it to this folder over here. So let me, let me get that in there. And then what I want to do is um, I'm going to type in that I also want any errors that are generated to put it into this errors document that's going to sit my desktop. I'm going to hit return. And it's going to back up the 1.28 gigabytes, and it does it kind of rapidly. Now I'm doing it now. It's copying, you know, more than a thousand files, and it, it it's finished it. Um, I notice the files on my desktop now. I'm the I'm going to double click to see if there's any errors, and that file's empty. All right. What I want to do though is show you that the advantage of this, you know, you must say I'll just keep drive I'll keep dragging the uh, the folder to a um, an external drive and keep it updated that way. What I want to do is I want to open up the document, and it, 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 it's big. There's no doubt about it. So my source file for that is wells.tech. And what I want to do is I want to just, I want to do a small edit. So I'm going to go to this one over here, and I'm going to edit the source file. You know, I'll put a couple spaces in. I'll save it. I'll delete a couple spaces and save it again. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to quit. So I want to go back to uh, my terminal. Let me close this out here. And, you know, I just, I just changed the file. And what, what a lot of people would now say, okay, just drag the whole folder and just do a recopy. I'm just going to go back to the terminal. I'm going to type in clear. And I want to run that command again. That's the command. What's going to happen? I only change one file. Out of the thousands of, out of more than a thousand files, I change one. What does it do? It copies that one file for me. Now they're in sync. If there's an error, the error would occur over here. There is no error. That's it. All right, let me clear the screen again. Whoops, let me go back here and do that. I realize some people are saying, well, I want to know more. You know what? I'm no expert. But what you could do, you could do MAN, RSync. MAN stands for um, manual. Hit return. And what you could do, hit the space bar if you want to read through it. And there's a lot of information here that you could read through. All right, a lot of information to read through, all right, including all those little um, um, uh, switches that I put in. You know, you remember this small a, a, small h, and the large p. They're all there, and they listen to what they do, all right? That's about it. Hopefully, it's been helpful. Thank you.